Good morning YouTube friends, today we're out again after two weeks of rain and heavy storms. The Netherlands was almost flooded with water but now with a beautiful day, sun is shining, feels like spring so we are going to crack on. Yeah I'm kind of struggling here on this field, many pottery and many fragments of lead but not the goodies but uh, just like this. And here it is, I don't know what it was, perhaps from a spoon or a clothes fastener. Yeah, I don't know. Well guys, I think I just found silver in this little clot. It was almost at the surface. Here it is. It's a beautiful button, flower decorated. The shank is unfortunately missing. But uh, yeah, can't complain with this, I take it. Very uh, beautiful button, silver. Just found this and here it is. It's a piece of lead. And I think this is a token. Because it's not double sided. And yeah, I don't know. Looks like a horse, but <laughs> I have no clue what it is. Uh, yeah, the details then. So, crack on. First I thought it was a musket ball, but it's too light. So I noticed that it is a button. This time not made out of silver, but I guess it's a, a copper alloy. Yeah. Yeah, I find here uh, some coins, but they are so flat you can't see anything, so it's not worth to film them. But now I found a coin, a German coin. Here it is. And there's even text on it. It's unbelievable. It's one Pfennig from 1862. Yeah, that's about 150 years old. Well guys, I shouldn't complain, because look what I found. It's a silver needle. Ah, and a big one. Look at that. Yeah. It's bent, unfortunately, but uh, I have a local jeweler in my neighborhood and she can make it very beautiful again. And this is by far the longest silver needle what I found till now. Uh, show you the other ones now, but look at that, guys. Whoa. That's a cracker. Or how they in English say, it's a stunker. <laughs> Whoa! Just had a strong signal, 86, and it's a buckle, shoe buckle. And here we have a tiny buckle, very worn out, but it's complete. Look at that. Yes, buckle. Normally I don't uh, comment these surface finds, pottery, but this one is special. Look at this. It's a fragment from a Beardman, uh, from a Beardman <laughs> bottle. And uh, yeah, sometimes you find fragments, but this is uh, with a lovely face. So, very happy with that. Woohoo! 17th century.
today out again on the fields and these are the two first finds first one is a copper coin from the 17th century it's an imitation coin from Reckheim here's the shield and here we have a fragment of cutlery decoration post medieval very beautiful here the back side is blank yes and another coin here it is it's uh, from the county of Overijssel and the date says 1629 I think not sure look at that good condition for 400 years old coin and on the back there should be a shield somewhere yeah Look at that guys, the yellow stuff. No, it's 10 cents, euro cents. <laughs> well, it's spendable. I had a good find, very nice find. Here you go. It's a hammered coin from 1520 or 5021. It's one from Utrecht, city of Utrecht. It's a little bit battered on the sides. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I think 20% silver or so, or so in it. The rest is uh, made out of copper alloy. But nevertheless, look at the details. How nice. Yeah. Just had a funny find. I thought it was lead garbage, but if you take a closer look, then you see a bust and a face. Yeah. Yes. Made out of lead, so perhaps it's from a toy. I don't know, <laughs> actually, but uh, yeah. I found a brand new bird tag. Look, 2021. Poor bird. Didn't make it so long. Yeah. That's nature. Just found, I think, a small hammered coin. Over here. Yeah. Hard to say, but I think it's a very low uh, percentage of silver and 70% uh, copper alloy. But uh, you can see it's an old one. I see a kind of a crossover here. And on the back, somewhere, a shield. I thought it was a shield. Yeah, here. See? So, nice. Just found a piece of lead, here it is. And yeah, this is a special one, I think. Never found this one before. Yep. But from whom or what, I don't know. Three times the X and the D. 800. I don't know. <laughs> yeah.
just like this and here it is it's I think a German coin on the back I think it's dry Pfennig but I'm not sure but it's very thin copper alloy and here's the shield yes just found a coin here it is and this is not a regular one this is from the county of the city of Groningen the end of the 16th 16th century 17th century sorry always confused with those centuries and here you see the shield from Groningen yes Good morning YouTubers! Out with the days again! It's uh, really spring over here in the Netherlands now. It's uh, uh, 10 March or something. We have a nice search area on the pasture in the middle of the Netherlands. So let's hope for some good finds. And the first decent find is here. It's a uh, looks like a big silver coin. Unfortunately it's made out of nickel. It's two and a half guilders from the pre-decimal 1970, the year before I was born. Queen Juliana, two and a half florins. Yeah. Well, just had a find, strange find. It's this, yeah, it's made of copper, copper, copper alloy. If you look at the first side, you think the decoration is very primitive, so it could be old, but the corners are a little bit too symmetrical, so I don't think it's old, but I'm not sure, but it looks very interesting. So, yeah. Any ideas? Just found a pendant. Look at that. Here it is. And I'm sure there was something in it because it's very thick. So, uh, I guess there are photos in, but uh, I'm afraid I will break it immediately if I open it, so I'm not sure if I open it, but yeah, great find. Now take a look at this. It's a completely destroyed pocket watch, but yeah, you don't find them so often. Just found a coin, here it is. It's two cents from Belgium, King Leopold II, somewhere in the 19th century. <coughs> Thank you. Well, 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 look what we found here. It's a medieval buckle. Yes, ring buckle. I guess it's between 1250 and 1500. That's a cracker, very happy with that. Unfortunately, the pin is not complete, but yeah, how about that? Well guys, you're never gonna believe it, but I think I found a Roman coin. Look at that. Here on the back you see the letter C and a god. Yeah, it's very worn out, but I'm sure it's, it's a Roman coin. 
Yes, Roman bronze. Woo. Just found an old copper coin. Here it is. It's a end 1500, beginning 1600 copper coin from the county of Hollandia. If you can see it. And on the back there should be, yeah, I have to clean it, but there's a virgin in the garden <laughs> somewhere. Yes. Very nice. Look over there. A nice beat. Yeah. Mud locking. Massive signal, big chunk of lead. Yeah, I guess it's a weight or something. Fishing weight, perhaps. Yeah, very heavy. And here it is, all cleaned up. Look at that, guys. I saw already everywhere markers there. And I don't know, there was something here. Yeah, here uh, you see a recap from uh, when I found this uh, first ring, gold ring, uh, in January. And uh, yeah, also happy to find it because uh, it's an uh, amazing find to find such a thing. But unfortunately, it was bent. And uh, the buckle, uh, what is on it, it was broken and uh, some parts were missing. It's a beautiful wing when it's in its, in its original state. So I decided to do that. Uh, I had to bring it to a specialist uh, somewhere in the north of the Netherlands. And he did an amazing job. I can show it you right now. Here it is. Look at this. The buckle completely restored. Yeah, it's a kind of decoration buckle. But uh, there are very, very tiny filigrane wires in it. And yeah, the jeweler may, uh, did an amazing job. He's uh, specialized in this kind of historic rings. You see that? Yeah, I, I uh, show you a picture and then you can see how small the details are. And yeah, you see it's completely round again. There are some marks in the ring and it says that there was a jeweler in the 18th century who made this ring. His name was Klaas Lambeer and he worked from 1750 till 1780 or something who made this ring. And now it's back in his, in his original state. 
So that was it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope I can see you in the next video. Thank you for commentating, liking and subscribing. So I see you the next time.